bullying, a blustering, browbeaten person, especially one habitually cruel to others who are weaker. Bullying. Bullying is a form of aggressive behavior in which someone intentionally and repeatedly causes another person injury or discomfort. The way I would define bullying is in uh, pretty much just picking up, picking on people that, like I said, are different from you, and um, you, uh, I guess, at, at the same time, you get kind of jealous, or at the same time, you want to be seen as like the the big person around uh, around the campus or around school. Bullying is the most destructive type of relationship that I can imagine. Bullying is a, is a very complex problem and it has long-term negative devastating consequences for children and youth. And that's one of the things that we've learned over the years. I'll define bullying as uh, picking on another person uh, for a difference or maybe an event that happens uh, is mostly to make the person to feel like an outsider, like an intruder, and it's actually really harmful define bullying as disrespecting somebody else, uh, whether it's a little, a little kid or a uh, grown-up, uh, making fun of them, or in any way just, I guess, picking on them. Uh, I think people bully because they're ignorant. Um, we really don't know about some when we really don't know about something I guess we tend to mock it I think people bully because they just want to gain attention to themselves and it's a negative way of gaining, gaining attention just to you know just so that they notice that they're around so you can give them attention um, people often bully each, uh, another person because they're insecure and they want they don't want to be like to see as the weak ones so they try to pick in someone who's weaker or someone who won't talk back. Bullying can lead to lasting psychological problems, including lowered self-esteem, depression, anxiety, and even thoughts of suicide. Sticks and stones may break your bones, but words can never hurt you. Well, the truth is, they do. They hurt a lot. To it is really just um, kind of started in the 1980s. There was um, three boys in Norway that committed suicide, and they each left notes that um, uh, kind of uh, describe some of the bullying that they'd experienced at school, and that generated a lot of interest in national study. In bullying causes depression. Depression causes suicide. Suicide is murder. Bullies are murderous. Parenting expert Michelle Borba, who wrote The Big Book of Parenting Solutions, says teaching the kids who witness bullying may be the key to solving this growing problem. According to Dr. Susan Swearer, parents and teachers must intervene when they see bullying take place. First, they must tell the students who are doing the bullying to stop. Victims need to feel that they have a support network of kids and adults. Help the student who is being bullied feel connected to school and home. Students who are also being bullied might benefit from individual or group therapy in order to create a place where they can express their feelings openly.